explaining dyscalculia, part six. If you have seen our previous videos about dyscalculia, you will know that individuals with dyscalculia find it difficult to connect the symbol with the amount, which makes numbers difficult to use. But over time, I found something that made this easier for me. I'm a very visual person, so I prefer techniques that are visual. So I started to build learning techniques around images and patterns to make it easy for me to use math. And in this video, we're going to talk about patterns. This is why I like the dice, because they have very distinctive patterns that it's easy to remember. Here we have a great example. I easily can see this is six. However, in this one, I do not recognize a pattern. So the way I see it in my mind is like each dot here could represent this pattern, making a different pattern, which makes it a lot easier for me to count, even though I'm not using numbers. Hi, I've noticed there's been some time since we talked about time. More specifically today, we're going to talk about not being on time. And if you have seen the previous video about this calculia, you know that individuals with this calculia might find it hard to comprehend time. But they're not alone. Many neurodiverse individuals may find it difficult to comprehend time as well. So for example, ADSD, dyslexia, etc. And yeah, the subject of the day is being out of time. Growing up, I've been very afraid of being late. And I was very aware that my perception of time would make it difficult for me to actually be there at time. So what I did, I always was way earlier to compensate for me not being there on time. So I was always there 30 minutes, half an hour, before I needed to be, or potentially more. Because I would rather wait half an hour than being late. Can you relate? Let's talk dyscalculia and money. And you know by now that individuals with dyscalculia may find it difficult to connect the number, the symbol, with the amount. You can imagine how this affects money. We don't understand amount, value. It's very difficult to use money. And many individuals with dyscalculia and other learning differences have great anxiety using it. When we are out shopping, we rather want to use a bigger bill than counting ourselves to avoid the stress and anxiety around counting. That's why it's convenient today to use the card because you don't need to really think much about counting. And this is just a small part of the whole world of money and dyscalculia. Imagine paying your bills. Can you relate to anything I said? Let me know. Dyscalculia in page numbers is a problem. Of course, you know by now that individuals with dyscalculia may find it difficult to connect the symbol with the amount. And this, as strange as it sounds, affects page numbers. Many students with dyscalculia may find it very difficult when the teacher tells people or write on the blackboard what page number you're going to go to. Because this page number, 34, can suddenly change to 43 and then you end up on a different page. And it's like second guessing yourself, did I choose the right page? What I always did, rather than looking at the numbers, I looked at the image from the guy next to me and found that image rather than looking at a number. Just the encounter with this number can actually ruin someone's day. Can you relate? Dyscalculia and annual numbers. And as you know by now, individuals with dyscalculia may find it difficult to connect the amount with the symbol number itself. And as you can imagine, the annual number can be very difficult for an individual with dyscalculia. As a kid, I was very confused when people said the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. I just thought people were very, very old and all this stuff happened rather quickly. And history class was very confusing because we had to remember all of these different numbers and to me that didn't have any meaning whatsoever and I had a huge problem trying to write it down or even worse read them out loud numbers above thousand was very hard to say out loud I know it now that I'm older but it took me some time to learn can you relate
It's time a challenge to you and you have dyslexia, ADHD, dyscalculia or other learning differences. This is episode 20 of explaining how it feels through art. Of course this image is called time. Because many individuals with learning differences find time to be very challenging to comprehend. Therefore many may be late or too early to certain meetings. This is not because they want to but because, again, time is difficult. And this may frustrate not only them, but many other people as well. But know that they do not want to do this on purpose. I myself have always found time to be difficult to comprehend. And I have used tools like stopwatch and alarms in order to teach myself time. Be aware that many of these individuals may not comprehend when you refer to a certain time or speak in time terms. I always try to give myself one day a week where I focus on my time to relax 